Hi everybody, so today I'm back doing a new video and this is going to be a new piercing video and this one relates to all about nose piercings and what to expect with a nose piercing. Um, I know I'm going to get questions about my makeup but um, I just have black eyeshadow on the lids and just blended it out so I just wanted to get that out of the way. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So anyway. Um, this video is going to be what to expect when you do get your nose pierced, um, you know, after you get it pierced, things like that. A lot of you are curious about it, and nose piercings are fairly popular. I mean, it's kind of hard to find someone who doesn't have a nose piercing because they are so popular. So I just thought I would make this video just to kind of explain, um, you know, more things about it and what to expect before the piercing process, during and after. Okay, so if you are someone out there who is considering getting their nose pierced, there are a few things that you do want to take into consideration. And the reasoning for this is because you want to make sure that when you do get a piercing, that you it's something that you really want and something that you're willing to take care of because piercings do take care to help them heal well. So if you take care of them well, you'll, you should have no problem. You just have to make sure that you have enough time to commit yourself into cleaning it because if you don't, things like infection and irritation and things like that could arise. So you just want to make sure that you're taking really, really good care of it. If you do want your nose pierced, also kind of make sure and kind of get to know what side that you want it on. Um, when I want a piercing, what I do is I take a picture of my face. Um, I did this for my eyebrow piercing. I take a picture of my face and then I put it into paint and then I make a dot where the piercing would be so I can see how it would look on me and what side I like better. I do this for all of my piercings. Um, I did it for my Monroe, I did it for my eyebrow, my nose, all that stuff. I made little marks on paint and see which side I wanted it on. So if you wanna do that, you can just to kinda get an idea of what side would look best on you. Another thing to take into consideration when it comes to getting your nose pierced is if you have a job, I would go and make sure that your job allows piercings, like facial piercings like nose piercings that is a facial piercing so make sure that your job allows that because it would be really really shitty to go and get the piercing and spend the money on it and then get it to heal well and then your boss will say sorry you can't have piercings so that would really suck so make sure that you are allowed to have facial piercings in your workplace and the next thing that you're going to want to do that's really really important before you go and get any type of piercing not just a nose piercing is make sure you go around and find a really good shop. Um, first, please go to a professional piercer. Don't try to pierce it yourself. I know a lot of people have stories about um, them piercing their noses by themselves and things went fine, but that's something I would not recommend. I would recommend going to a shop to go and get it pierced. Um, don't do it yourself. But, you know, just go around, like, you know, your town and find a good piercing shop or go online and try to find one. And if you find one that you really like, make sure that they have all their certified, you know, licenses for piercing and or tattooing, depending on what you want. Um, make sure that the shop is clean and make sure that, um, you know, if you want to, you can talk to them and ask them, you know, what kind of tools they use, like do they use the disposable clamps or do they have a sterilizing machine for the clamps, things like that. Just go around and make sure that the shop is good because you don't want to go to a rundown shop that, you know, doesn't is using like clamps that they've used on like 10 other people that day. So you just want to make sure that you go to a good place so you don't risk getting an infection or anything like that. Once you decide to get your nose pierced and you find a really, really good shop, you're, the day is going to come where you're going to go and get your nose pierced and naturally, this is just human instinct, you are going to be a little nervous, but you just got to take into consideration that it's a piercing and it lasts a couple seconds and then the pain is gone and then you're okay. So there's really nothing to be too nervous about, but naturally you are going to be a little bit nervous which is totally fine every piercer understands your nerves um, make sure that you eat a really good meal and drink something before you go um, take deep breaths you know in through your nose out through your mouth that really calms the body once you get there you're probably going to sign some paperwork they're probably going to take a picture take a copy of your id or your parents id depending on how old you are the the legal age to go by yourself and get a piercing is 18 at least in michigan where i live um, anywhere else might be different but i think mostly everywhere it is 18 to go and get a piercing by yourself without a parent's consent. So if you're 18 and up, they'll make you sign some paperwork and take a photocopy of your ID. 
or or your parents id and have them signed so it, it'll be either or depending on how old you are and after you get all that you know paperwork and all that other junk out of the way he'll take you back to the place where they pierce you and you'll sit down you're probably still going to be feeling a little bit nervous but you know that's okay and then once you sit down he's gonna probably clean the area with some alcohol to make sure you know they gets any makeup off or any you know germs anything like that that might be on your nose. After he does that, he'll probably take like a purple looking ink or a pen or anything like that and he'll mark the side that you want. For example, I wanted my right side pierced, so he just took a pen and just put the dot there. See how I liked it? Liked it, it was good, sat back down. Then afterward, he just put the clamps on my nose like this, which doesn't really hurt at all. He, he just puts the clamps on and then it comes time for the needle. He'll grab the needle and he'll say, are you ready? And you'll say, yeah. And then he'll probably either say, take a deep breath in, pierce, take a deep breath out, or he'll say three, two, one, and then he'll pierce you. Um, when I got my nose pierced, I didn't get any type of countdown or any type of warning. He just asked, you okay? And I was like, yep. And then I waited for a countdown and then the needle was already in. So I didn't get any type of countdown, but mostly piercers will give you some type of warning. Um, if you're curious to know about more about my nose piercing, I do have a ton of videos linked below. Um, I have the video of me getting it pierced, um, which I got my nose pierced May of 2012. So it's been about a year and a half since I've had my nose pierced. Um, so that one will be below. How to clean it will be below. Um, all about it where you can go and get more information that will also be linked below. So make sure to check the description bar after this video so you can kind of see what... Um, what videos I have down below talking all about my nose piercing. So then he want, once you have the clamps on, he'll give you a warning and then he will pierce you. And it really doesn't hurt that bad. Um, on a scale of one to 10, I'd probably give it like a three out of 10. It's really not that bad. It lasts a couple of seconds and then you don't even feel it. And then after he pierces you, the needle will be in your nose still and he'll be holding it so it doesn't, you know, kind of cut your lip or pierce your lip a little. And then he'll take a jewelry and put it in through the needle and just pull through and the jewelry will be in and then you're all done. So it's a really quick process. You know, it doesn't take long at all. It's a couple seconds and then you have a brand new nose piercing. Another thing I wanted to mention is during the actual piercing, you might bleed a little bit. I know when I got my nose pierced, it was like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Like, I bled so much. Um, I didn't even know I was bleeding until I watched the video. I was like, oh, geez. But, you know, that's totally normal, especially with nose piercings. I know a lot of people who have bled a lot during their nose piercings, so don't be alarmed if you bleed a little bit. It's totally normal. Some things to expect after you get it pierced. You will have a little bit of redness. You know, you will be a little bit sore from the nose piercing. Um, just make sure that after you get it pierced, you talk to your piercer about, you know, how to take care of it things to do to take care of it well. Um, they'll either tell you or they will give you a little sheet of how to take care of it. Um, I know that does happen a lot. So those are just some things that you're going to be experiencing after just a little bit of swelling, redness, and soreness, which is what you'll get with all piercings really. The healing process, you are still going to be experiencing some redness and some soreness and it's going to be a very tender area because when you get a piercing, it is a fresh wound in your body so you have to treat it like a wound. Um, when you get your nose pierced and you're a girl, don't wear any makeup by the piercing. Um, when I got my nose pierced, I always kept the makeup away from the actual area so you know, nothing would go in and infect the area or get bacteria that wasn't needed in there because it is a very fresh piercing and will be for a long time. You go and get your nose pierced. Usually they will give you just a standard L shape or corkscrew nose ring. If you don't know what that is, um, you can go ahead and Google types of nose rings and you'll see all kinds of them. But either it'll be a corkscrew or it'll be an L shaped. Um, nose ring. That's usually what they do give you. In some situations, they'll give you a hoop, but you know, that's not a good thing to have in a fresh nose piercing because then you get in the topic of keloids. And when you have a nose hoop, typically that is when keloids or hypertopic scarring starts to arise because with a hoop, the hoop is moving more than a stud will, like it's moving in and out, which can cause irritation to the area and can cause these little little red bumps called keloids or otherwise medically known as hypertopic scars which is normal you know they're not dangerous um, but we you know with nose hoops that's just typically what will happen with, with the nose hoop moving in and out all the time so it's best to just get it pierced with the stud and then change it to a hoop later 
after it's healed and all that good stuff. As far as cleaning it goes, I would recommend cleaning it twice a day with either antibacterial soap or sea salt or H2 Ocean. I talk about H2 Ocean and sea salt in almost all of my piercing videos. And then, you know, if you take a shower, clean it with antibacterial soap. That'll kind of clean off the area and get it nice and nice and clean for you. As far as cleaning it goes, I would recommend cleaning it twice a day with either antibacterial soap or sea salt or H2 Ocean. I talk about H2 Ocean and sea salt in almost all of my piercing videos. And then, you know, if you take a shower, clean it with antibacterial soap. That'll kind of clean off the area and get it nice and nice and clean for you. So after you get it pierced, you're going to want to wait at least three to six months to change it. I waited three months and I changed it to a hoop and didn't have any problems with it. You know, it went smoothly. Um, usually I heal really, really slow for piercing, so three months was kind of taking a risk, but um, my nose healed really well, so that's I waited three months to change it and all was well. I did change it, I did change it to a hoop and that's when I first discovered the keloids were arising, which again is normal, that's just what you get with a nose hoop. And you know, I had, I've struggled with keloids with my nose hoops for such a long time and I eventually gave up on hoops and wore studs in my nose for a really long time. And then I realized I wanted a hoop again but I didn't want you know, the hypertopic scarring. So what I did is I did a little research on it and I discovered that if you have a body jewelry that is of higher quality metal, like titanium or 14 karat gold, that those things can happen less. So I went onto Amazon and I got this one. This is a 14 karat white gold nose hoop and it is 22 gauge. Um, because the other nose hoops that I had were 16 gauge and I just could not get those in without having immense pain so I wanted to downsize so it would be the same size as the stud so I could easily change in and out from a hoop to stud without having any pain. So this is a 22 gauge um, 14 karat white gold hoop. It is 5 sixteenths of an inch which is still kind of short because you can obviously see where it ends but you know it looks fine from straight on which I like it so but yep this is what this one looks like. Um, this was as a total with shipping and everything, this was $14, which is an excellent price. And ever since I've switched to this nose hoop, I haven't had any problems with any type of scarring whatsoever. Um, this one has been great. So if you do want to change to a nose hoop, I would recommend changing it to... Sorry, my dog's playing with the squeaky toy. Um, so if you do want to change to a nose hoop, I would recommend getting either titanium or 14 karat gold. That's just what has helped my nose piercing the best and has helped um, decrease the keloids definitely. So that's what I would recommend for that. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to keep it short for you guys because I do, like I said, have a ton more nose piercing videos where I talk about more, more about my experience and you know me getting it pierced and all that good stuff. So if you want to find out any more about it, you can either check out those videos below or post a comment asking me a question that you may have. I'd be more than happy to help you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. I put out new videos quite often. Until then, I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.